hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's abby crystal here with a beautiful fresh looking face as usual if you're coming across my channel for the very first time you're highly welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back as well so today's video is a continuation of my update on Miss Universe Nigeria and yesterday we had the press conference that was held um, by the Silverbed Group, the owners of the franchise of Miss Universe Nigeria and a whole lot was unveiled in that press conference. Yes, in this video I highlighted uh, snippets of what happened in the conference and there's a whole lot and of course you guys must have heard the news now by now you guys know what is circulating over the internet <laughs> yes a whole lot is happening and i decided to give you guys um, the lowdown of what happened at the conference and um yeah first of all i'll start with the fact that um, this year's pageant there's a lot of sponsors that have indicated interest and um if you watched the live stream yesterday or if you were part of the um you know the press conference um the sponsors uh, the new sponsors um came up or uh, with the you know uh, came on stage with their representatives and um, you know they addressed the uh congregation and all you know um we have new sponsors this year of course lush hair has been a, an old sponsor mm, they are still sponsoring this year's pageant as well notify uh, checkers custard Eshante fragrance are amongst the sponsors for this year there's, there's a whole lot um of uh, you know new sponsors like um, some skincare brands um they were there with their representatives yesterday um some investment com investment companies and the likes and you know a lot of other um you know uh, partners as well they were um present at the conference yesterday all right so um the group managing director of silverbed mr guy mori bruce actually uh, made some announcement yesterday and um yes i'm going to be highlighting them based on you know how you know uh, you know, in, in order of how, you know, the information was given out. So we're going to have 10 million Naira worth of prizes for the winner. Yes, guys, this is like, you know, an improvement of the previous um, years where they used to usually have, um, yeah, have, you know, usually don't get to see what the winner get, you know, with the prizes that the winner gets to, you know, gets to um, walk away with. So it's fair enough. And there's going to be... Um, a fashion show as usual you guys know how they've been doing it on the pageant before now they always have a, a fashion show um showcasing um the best of nigerian designers okay yes so i'm going to i'm going to be anticipating that fashion parade and fashion show is a, it's a way of you know um getting the quite working skills of the girls yeah in camp all right so we're going to have a week of camping activities um at festive hotels first stack they are going to be the host um for the girls so the girls are going to have one week camp as against the uh, two weeks um that i said earlier so we're going to have a one week camp and um the grand finale will be held on the 31st of august at the prestigious echo hotel and suits but seriously i was kind of disappointed at the venue because you guys you know now i was anticipating that we're going to have a change of venue but this time around we're still going to go with they are going to go with the previous venues they've been using before so that means we're not going to get hmm, we're not going to see a long stage in this year's budget i was expecting we're going to see a very um a bigger stage you know a wider stage in this year's budget but with what they announced yesterday i don't think it's going to be possible um and there's going to be a pitch challenge sponsored by michel ukachuku foundation you guys know that michel is the current most beautiful um, miss sorry <laughs> michel is the current miss universe nigeria and uh, she was present as well in the press conference and she was looking so beautiful and she talked about you know um hosting this uh, pitch challenge sponsored by her foundation and i'm looking forward to you know seeing how it's going to look like So guys, in addition to that, there's not going to be any live telecast of the preliminary competition this year. So that's another disappointing um, information. So it's, it's still going to be the old-fashioned way of, you know, having an indoor preliminary competition. Yeah, that's how it's going to be this year. And the same production team, 33, the 100 last year's pageant, they're still the partners for this year's pageant as well. So I hope they give us a good production this year. So on to the breaking news of this particular update. 
yes guys we have so we have it um um drum rolls drum rolls drum rolls drum rolls um tidema additional has accepted to participate in this year's miss universe nigeria pageant guys like when i saw the announcement yesterday i knew i told you guys that i was suspecting that Chinema accepted but i'm not sure i wasn't sure yet until you no know, the press conference so the press conference has finally answered our question and um yeah the group managing director mr guy Mori bruce finally announced Chidima's participation in the pageant and her um her video was actually showcased during the press conference where she accepted the invitation yeah she accepted to participate in africa's most prestigious beauty pageant yes specifically first nigeria and it came with a lot it came with a lot of a lot of missed reaction from a lot of pageant fans, you know, some are saying that, you know, she would have waited till next year to participate. While some were happy that, you know, she's a very uh, she's a strong contender to you know to win this year's crown. And I'm really happy for her, you know, um given the fact that she went through a lot, you know, this period, you know, with the controversy and all with South African fans and, you know, her not participating in Miss South Africa, where she was originally built to participate. And now she's now, um, you know, moving to another pageant. Uh, I feel, you know, it's a whole lot on her. So, guys, you just let her breathe. She has made her decision. She's an adult. She's a full-blown blown adult. She has, made, she has made her decision. So, I feel like we should just, you know, uh, accept her decision. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy that, you know, she accepted to participate and it shows that you know the inclusivity and all that we heartily like i said we are we are heartily um welcoming her into into nigeria like i can't wait for her to you know um join the girls in camp and um yeah i'm going to be following her journey as well in this pageant okay so <laughs> So finally, I have a message for South African fans, you know, South African pageant fans. Those of you that bullied Chidima, why she was uh, about to compete for Miss South Africa. Those of you that pressured her to, to resign. Those of you that signed the petition and all. Um, I have a message for you guys because I've seen your comments in my comment section. And <laughs> what is all this fake love that you are now professing all of a sudden? Because Chidima has accepted to, um, to participate in Miss Universe Nigeria. And you guys are trying to come around and um you know um show her the love and all that you refuse to show her why she wanted to compete for miss south africa what is your problem like are you guys okay like i begin to ask myself like what is really happening like <laughs> well why the hypocrisy like why the hypocrisy a lot of you are saying oh our girl chichi will be fully representing us in nigeria and bring and you know she'll bring back the crown to to south africa like, what's your problem? She's representing Nigeria now. So she's no longer bringing any crown to you, South Africa. Since you guys rejected her and she has been accepted by her own fatherland. So what's the problem? Why are you guys now showing fake love? <laughs> Please, uh, carry your fake love elsewhere. <laughs> and when I, most, most, when I saw those comments, like, when, anytime I see the comments, I just laugh. Like, are these people okay? Are they on something? <laughs> like you guys are just so toxic like i don't understand like a lot of you guys <laughs> i don't know what is happening just go and check yourself check yourselves because <laughs> most, of, most of you i don't know if you are okay like 100 percent okay a lot of you are so hypocritical you know this is a lady this is a girl that you know grew up in your country she was born there she did virtually everything there and you guys bullied her based on you know some controversial issues and all that i which i will not go into because of course it's uh um it, it, you know they were investigated there were some investigations that were carried out and they found out some identity fraud and all that but uh, you know but you know why is now you know uh, showing her love when why when you guys said oh she's not south african why are you guys now showing her the same the, the, the love that you used to show her when why she needed it most you know this was a crime that was committed by her mom not her so I don't think uh, you guys understand what it means to um, embrace unity, if at all you want to embrace unity. So, guys, this is what I have. This is all I have to, for you guys in this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video coming up very soon. Bye. You are so heartless.